Hi, I'm Jeff Haynes, editor at Tech Bargains, and today we're bringing you the video review of the Dell Vostro V131 laptop. One of the big advantages in following the evolution of a product line is you can see whether or not a company has decided to address any flaws over a previously released system. When we reviewed the Dell Vostro V130 back in January, we were pleased by the system's performance and size, although the lack of significant battery power and a few other issues held it back. Dell recently released the V131, which is an update on the laptop-netbook hybrid. But is it a significant improvement over the original system? The V131 that we reviewed was powered by an Intel Core i5-2410M processor running at 2.3 GHz with 4 GB of DDR3 memory, which was a significant boost to the ultra-low voltage processor found in the V130. However, like its predecessor, it came with integrated Intel HD Graphics 3000 and HDMI, as well as a 13.3-inch LED backlit LCD display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768. The optical drive has been removed to keep the weight of the system down at 4.15 pounds, as well as to keep a slim profile. In fact, the V131 is a bit thinner at 0.75 inches thick compared to the V130's 0.8-inch size. The system comes with a 500GB hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM and is rounded out by two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, Bluetooth 3.0 and Wi-Fi support, and Windows 7 Professional. Something that impressed us with the V130 was the form factor of the system. We're pleased that Dell managed to keep and even improve on the machine in subtle ways, making the V131 an almost perfect device for road warriors looking for a lightweight and easy to carry machine. Very little about the computer changed from the V130. The aluminum chassis is solidly constructed with a magnesium palm rest and zinc hinges, along with a simple matte silver black color scheme that provides a simple and understated look to the computer. This is further enhanced by the subtle addition of the chrome trim around the keyboard and trackpad without the addition of glossy surfaces. Similarly, we were happy with some of the input design choices for the V131. We like the chiclet style keyboard because of its wall spaced large keys that provided nice tactile feedback. We found that typing on the system was a quiet experience, which was great. And we were also pleased by the inclusion of the standard LED keyboard backlighting, which was nicely done and useful in low light situations. We also found the trackpad and buttons had very good response, making it much more effective to use in day to day use. We also like the performance of the V131, which we found to be particularly strong. During our testing, we ran into no performance hitches or issues with our browsing, word processing, or photo editing. Nor did we find issues with video performance for the system. In fact, we noticed that the V131 can stream HD video rather easily, which is a significant enhancement over the V130 that couldn't come close to handling an HD stream without sputtering. This was great to see for the computer. However, we do have to point out that this is not a system that's a visual powerhouse. There isn't a discrete graphics card or even an option to upgrade to one from Dell, so you're only going to be playing casual games, if that, with this machine. Of course, we are somewhat concerned by the possible increase in heat thanks to the switch from the ULV processor to the Sandy Bridge processor. While it's definitely warmer than the V130, the heat is very manageable and not uncomfortable during use. We found we could easily use the laptop on our laps for several hours without finding the system getting too hot, even under significant load. Similarly, while we found that the fan was audible in a room that's basically silent, it's not overwhelming, and it easily fades into the background with other ambient noise. Finally, we were definitely concerned about the battery life, particularly because the previous system had a pretty pathetic battery. Fortunately, we found the battery of the V131 was vastly superior to that of the V130. In fact, we noticed that we managed to get four and a half hours of battery life with the brightness pumped up to full, five hours at half brightness, and 5.3 hours at low brightness while watching video streams. If you're using the laptop for browsing or less intensive system work, you could probably get up to seven hours of life. Even better, we're pleased to say that the battery can be removed. The previous version had a sealed battery, making you reliant upon power outlets. The V131 at least provides you with the option to carry a backup battery on the road so you've always got some power for your system. Additionally, the extra size of the battery acts as an impromptu stand to add air circulation for the laptop. Could we find an issue with the V131? Yes, and unfortunately it's still one of the biggest problems we had with the V130. The screen quality of the system is still pretty disappointing. It may be an okay screen with basic usage, but it's not the best one we've seen on the various systems we've tested. Colors can look faded, while the brightness of the screen isn't that high even boosted up to maximum value. 
We also noticed that viewing angles could be pretty poor with this display, highlighting color shifting issues on the screen very quickly. Even if you stare at the display head on, you'll notice the top of the screen is much darker than the bottom. While we think that watching a video by yourself will be fine, we don't recommend gathering a group of people around to watch clips or show pictures. As an update to Dell's laptop netbook hybrid, the Vostro V131 is a versatile and portable system for users that don't need gaming performance for their computing needs. The mix of system performance, strong battery life, and small form factor makes it ideal for those people on the go. We wish that the screen was a bit better, but we definitely like the Dell Vostro V131, which is why we decided to give it a 4 out of 5. For up to the second news and deals, be sure to follow at Tech Bargains, which is our Twitter feed. And for the latest news and reviews, as well as coupons and deals on systems like the Dell Vostro V131, be sure to check out techbargains.com.